Welcome to Partition Wizard. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Partition Wizard to extend your system partition. Let's start Partition Wizard. By the way, I'm using Partition Wizard 5.0 for this demonstration. If you are still using older version, we suggest you to upgrade your Partition Wizard to 5.0. This is my partition layout. I have only one disk installed on this PC. It has C partition and D partition. C partition capacity is about 100 GB. It is an active boot system primary partition. And my D partition capacity is about 200 GB. My goal here is to extend my C partition from 100 to 150. So I select the C partition, click Move and Resize. In this window, you will find that you can only reduce the C partition. You cannot extend it. The reason is you don't have any free space left on this disk. So the first step is you have to create some free space. Let's select the partition D, move and resize. In this window, you can change the partition size of your D partition. You can either select your right border, drag to left, or you can select the left border drag to right. Or you can stack the partition and move it around. One common mistake people made is they only change the partition by drag its right border. Let's say um, drag the right border, stop at about 50 gigabyte. Click OK. Now you can see an unallocated space is created after my D partition. If I select the C partition, move and resize. Nothing has been changed. You cannot extend it. The reason is the unallocated space is created after my D partition, not next to my C partition. So let's discard the change and do this again. Select D partition, move and resize. This time I'm going to change the D partition by drag its left border. Stop at about 50 gigabyte. Click OK. Now you can see that uh, unallocated space is created between my C partition and my D partition. Select the C partition, move and resize. An unallocated space is next to my C partition, so I can extend it my C partition by dragging its border all the way to the right. Click OK. Now you can see my C partition capacity is increased from 100 to about 150. Of course, my D partition is decreased by about 50 gigabyte. There are actually two pending operations. One is move and resize D partition, and the second is move and resize my C partition. Click apply, and the partition wizard will finish the rest of its job. If you have any question, you can visit our website at www.partitionwizard.com or you can send us email at support at mt-solution.ca Thank you for watching this video.